What is going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. This time we're going to be talking about this how to cop video. That's right. It's going to be another how to cop video for you guys. And yes, we're going to be talking about the Shattered Backboard 3.0. And no, these are not it. These are the 1.0, the GOAT. But the 3.0, I did see them in hand. I think they actually look pretty all right. I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, these are terrible, or they didn't look that great, especially when they first saw pictures. And I quite, I definitely understand because it's all patent leather, and you know, they're just so used to it. The shatter backboards, we all know the shatter backboards go by because how great the leather quality is. And for them to give this wrinkled patent leather, it's a little disappointment. But anyways, we're gonna do a how to cop, and this also goes towards the Fearless. Uh, the Fearless one is also be coming out. There's gonna be two versions, I believe. It's gonna be the one that kind of looks like Deadpool. It's supposed to be an all women's shoe. That should be coming out Tuesday on the 22nd. Another one, the ice cream looking one, which is half blue and half red, all patent leather. I believe those are coming out this Friday on the 25th. So I so far that's what's on the that's what's on the Foot Locker uh, launch locators with what they're saying, and also the Shattered Backboard 3.0 coming out on the 26th. So of course three ones in one week, crazy week. You guys already know ones the hype beast of the hype beastness. Resellers gonna be crazy. Resellers gonna do this. Hype beast gonna be crazy. Uh, Jordan fan ones. It's this is gonna be a crazy week, okay? So how tough will these releases be, especially the shatter backboards? Um, it's gonna be a little tough, honestly. Uh, the from the maps I'm looking at, and some from the stores I'm looking at, and the people I talk to, I am hearing it's gonna be pretty limited, and only one or two stores are getting them in my area. So that kind of sucks already. So if it's only if there's only three coming to my area, I know most places only gonna get like one or two. So so finish line is running uh is running so finish line is running raffles right now on the app. So make sure you guys get your ticket in. You guys already know how I feel about the finish line app, but make sure you get your tickets in. You gotta be in it to win it. You have till Monday about 11 a.m. I probably won't be doing it. Uh, you're gonna be cutting it pretty close because 12 o'clock is when you'll be able to unlock it on October 21st which is on a Monday to see if you win it for to pick them up on Saturday usually finish line I don't know why they always do raffles for like one week prior but you know what it is what it is that's how they do it that's for the Hibis will also be running uh, raffles as well pretty soon on these things I think that the app will be uh, opening up uh, coming up probably either Sunday or Monday. Like I said, make sure you're in it to win it. They will send you an email or via text to see if you won on Friday so you can pick them up. Now, so that's also, if you wanna go to the reservation app, which is my favorite, is uh, Foot, uh, Foot Action, Foot Locker, and I'm not sure if Chance, Champs are getting them. Anyways, yes, you wanna go and uh, make sure you sign up for the reservation app. Make sure you get your 10 minute head start uh, to become a 10 minute, to get the 10 minute head start, you have to become a VIP member, gold star member, platinum member, whatever it is. You basically have to spend $300 to get that uh, platinum membership and you can get that 10 minute head start. Now what you do is when you first sign up, you'll get nine minutes and then when you go to the store, sign, you know, sign in to the check-in whenever the reservation pops up, go to the store, you uh, go in and ask for the code, check in, Bam, got your 10 minute head start. I've done multiple videos on that and I still get a lot of questions about it. Yeah, man, I, don't, I haven't heard anyone that's won in a while. I think they changed the algorithm that people has won seven minutes. So especially on this particular shoe, uh, usually they put it in the algorithm as in like they put you in different tiers. So if you have a 10 minute head start, compared to like a seven minute head start, you're more likely to win as a 10 minute head start than a seven, okay? And here's another thing too as well. It all depends how much money you spend on your account, okay? If someone has 10 minute, you know, say both everyone has 10 minute head start, someone has like 20K spent and one person has $300 spent. Most likely the person that the 20K spent will get chosen win based off of like loyalty, how much they spend it on it. It was kind of sucks because most likely most resellers and all that be winning all the time. Because usually when I see, I, I know resellers, they usually always hit, trust me. I mean, that's kind of reason why I feel like I've been taking some W's. I took a W on the Travis Scott sixes in Chicago. And because I've been kind of trying to been building up my account, uh, account, I've been trying to get put some money into it. And that's what you gotta have to do. You have to try to keep building up, building up, building up. 
and hopefully you start hitting on some good exclusive stuff so that is my little ex explaining about how the reservation is uh a lot of people still ask me about it i know there's some people out there that's like yo I, I know this stuff i get it but there's a lot of people that don't okay so all right so also don't forget in-store raffles uh pretty much splice you know self-explanatory uh stores that's doing in-store raffles uh in particular like stores like let's say uh shoe palace usually do in-store raffles city some city gears be doing in-store raffles detail lr i think they do in-store raffles right i don't have one in my area chic i think they do online raffles as well and they send you an email same thing with like uh most or even like jimmy jazz i'm not sure jimmy jazz can just make sure you call up your local retail store in your area see if they're going to get these things or not i will start calling sometime maybe even sunday sometimes they usually most likely they'd be doing raffles from monday uh, could be all day Monday to all the way to like Thursday and so on and so forth. And let's not forget first come first serve. Very self-explanatory. Of course, first come first serve. Uh, some stores like I believe like City Gear. A couple of tier zero stores in your area. Sneaker boutiques usually be doing first come first serve. First come first serve meaning as in like you got to be the first one into the dough and hopefully you can get it so i uh, most likely you're gonna have to camp or come up to the store really really early depending how whatever your area how crazy it is out there uh, i'm pretty sure people's gonna be camping out for these things i really do uh, it's gonna be like a 12 hour camp if you guys think that's worth it uh some people even camp out 24 to oh my goodness I, I you guys let me know if you think it's worth it i'd rather just pay resale if i had to camp out over you know five, 10 hours that's ridiculous every time every time there's a camp out there's always something going on always some F messed up stuff man like people cutting lines drama it's just so much stuff i just cannot handle i just cannot do but hey if you guys are all about that type of life man go ahead just be safe out there just remember the end of the day they're just shoes you know uh, so also also what i would consider is first cover first come first serve is the unclaimed pairs that's right unclaimed pairs i've gotten many pairs from unclaimed sometimes and it's actually pretty simple to do on release day let's say they're going to be releasing this saturday let's say finish line or hibbits my favorite uh during 11 o'clock i believe when they have the last time to for people to pick up the reservation of the winners of the raffles they had to 11 o'clock to pick them up if not by 11 o'clock, whoever's first come up to wait in the store or at the door, or whatever they have, usually are able to get whatever size they can. Or at Hibbits, they also do live raffles, which I really appreciate as well. So Finish Line usually do their uh, unclaimed pairs around like 11 a.m. Uh, big sneaker retail stores like Foot Locker, Champs, and Foot Action, they usually do about 3 p.m. after, you know, they give them some time. So about 3 p.m. they start giving out um unclaimed pairs on the weekend all right so let's talk about online okay we're talking about specifically for sh the shadow backboards and also for the, the fearless uh you online between finish line east bay foot action champs they usually be uh dropping at 10 a.m eastern time usually the site's gonna cr be crashing lagging uh, it's gonna take you a while. It's gonna be a patient game guys. Just keep on hitting that add to cart I've seen a lot of people take some W usually lately the manual uh, People has been uh, taking dubs yo So if you just keep on trying and hit that uh, add to cart keep hitting it and just be patient You might have to be on there for like 30 to an hour or so Because sometimes the sites just kind of just hold on to pairs until about 30 minutes and then let them all go and yeah, man it just eventually you'll just get through and hopefully you can get them that's that's one way to do it I, i've seen it happen before it happened i actually got cop a couple uh dubs on the clays from something like that i just kept clicking and clicking clicking came back like 30 minutes later clicked it bam add the card good to go shipped them got them so uh, another one is also most famous is going to be the nike sneakers app released at 10 a.m eastern time i don't believe it's a drawing it's going to be first come first serve you're going to have some fast twitter fingers bam enter in 10 minutes waiting in line do not turn off your app make sure you just stay in the line and hopefully you get that dub and just say you got them oh, oh yeah so guys i have to mention um you guys already know usually i uh say you know make sure you guys check out my guy sold a cart and he usually uh you know i would get slots from him for these uh, releases but this time for these uh, Shadow Backboards, he's only doing exclusively for his Discord group that I just realized he just started up. So shouts to him for that. And yeah, maybe we'll be working on something pretty soon, okay? So there it is, guys. That is my secret of how I cop. You guys ask me in the comments and tell me 
how do you get all this stuff all the time da, 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 da. and i'm like bro i'm telling you guys right here this video this is exactly this is all i know this is how i do all my copying and how i do it i mean compared to some people in different states and area it could be different maybe i'm just lucky because i live in my area it's not too it's not that bad but you know if you live in like big cities like you know san francisco and new york i don't know or chicago you might have problems but that's just but if you guys are worried about taking this l i'm just saying it depends on what size you guys are okay uh if you guys let me know if you guys want me to do a resale prediction on these shoes i might do a resale prediction but uh you guys already know jordan ones money size size seven all the way to a nine and a half it's gonna be pretty difficult especially size seven it's gonna be really difficult it's gonna uh, difficult 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 okay okay so i think if you're a size 10 and up you shouldn't have any problems you know size nine and a half which is my size size nine you might run into some problems okay it's gonna take you know it, it, it sucks but a lot of resellers out there a lot of people is taking double because even people with the big sizes are going for the small size because they know it's a money size which really sucks for me but it is what it is but like i said before i think if you put your full work in and you keep continue just trying this trying 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 you know like you guys think i get special treatment people come no i don't get no special treatment this is just how i do it guys I, I promise and if you guys put in that footwork in and you guys keep trying i think you guys should be okay i think you guys should be fine i don't think these things are that sought after but then again it's still hype beast hype beast okay so i wouldn't sleep anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop vids uh, don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jumpman Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.